Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. Before returning to Silas to see what I need to do next to find Mera, I wanted to look for the blacksmith which is supposed to be waiting for us. Well, turns out here. It said shore slash cliffs, whatever that meant, but yeah, they're here. So right, this is the entrance directly from the, uh, directly from the harbor. And then through the, what is it, the slopes, the place with all the obelisks. And then you go through the cave and then you end up here. This leads to the shore. So they're right here, and I know I came this way before and didn't see them, so... Perhaps I came at the wrong time of day before? This time I thought, okay, the blacksmith is probably going to be at their forge during the day, so... I slept until nighttime, and indeed, they seem to be here. So Rolo, what do you think of this? <laughs> so cool looking. Quiet, you're being followed. Head away down the shore. Try and give them the slip. Meet me back here in a half hour. Huh. Lose whoever's following you. Okay. Do I just, like, walk down? And keep going down? Can I give them the slip in here? Can I give him the slip in here? Surely that should have done it. Um, where is it? Still says to... Oh no, this one. Lose whoever's following you. No, I haven't done it yet. Head to the shore and give them the slip. Hmm. Vague, but I guess I'm not actually on the shore yet. Getting back there is going to be quite difficult. Uh, that way leads to nowhere. wonder who would be following me. Can't imagine the rat guards would be clever enough to sneak and tail me. Return to the smithy. Well, that's... That's a very annoying quest. You just walk down a bunch, and then you gotta find your way back to where you came from. Huh. Oh, this is the cave. Uh... Oh, actually, I think from the cave I can take the thing up. Yeah. Gotta wait for it to come down, though. But this should take me right up pretty much to where I enter this place from. And while I'm writing this basket up, just want to mention, I want to give a, a really good shout out to the developers of this game. That uh, they've been super, super fast at patching it. Not that it's had a particularly large number of issues, I've just noticed some moderate to minor stuff so far. But almost every day that I've been playing it, there's always been like a new patch every day that I've recorded this game. With a bunch of fixes, so they've been super fast at patching it. Really nice to see. beginning to think you weren't coming, Mouse. Who was that? Why were they following me? Here. Smithy gives you a scrap of paper. A strange symbol scrawled across it in ink. Oh, wait a minute. Remember how some of the obols that I was getting in the footlockers had strange symbols on them. Are those people that are the smugglers working for the master? Because this mentions a strange symbol as well. You recognize this? Looks familiar, but I can't place it. It's the sign of the master and his smugglers. The way he marks what's his. His lackeys have it etched into the back of their opals. Yes. Find the five opals bearing that mark, and you'll have your five smugglers. They're not just going to offer them to you, though. You have, you have some work to do first to win their trust. How do you know so much about the smugglers? By listening, instead of talking. Something you'd be wise to try. Where should I begin? I've seen them coming and going from the sewers late at night. The sewers? Reckon that's where they're working out of. I've already explored there so thoroughly though. Find their mark down there, and you'll know you're on the right track. Huh. 
huh? Listen, Mouse. He'll cut your throat soon as look at you, the Master will. So be careful how you're asking these questions, and who you're asking them to. We'll not speak of this again. A bunch of things to talk about. Uh, down there, which ship is that? That there's the wreck of the Lake Witch. She was a fine vessel. So they say, the Scourge of the Red Paw. She looks so forlorn, lying there. Aye, she does at that. What happened to her? At night, in a storm, near tore her keel off against rocks. Then ran aground there some twenty years ago. What happened to her crew? I can't say. The Lake Witch. Wasn't that Captain Powderkeg's ship? You've heard of him, then? Of his adventures? Aye, from the old pirate frog down in the jail. Harold? That mad old fool. Wouldn't put much stock in anything he tells you. How did you get here? I didn't pass you on the way down. Oh, this place is full of secrets. There are hidden passages running all over. Would you show me some? <laughs> what do you think? Well, can't I at least pay you for them? I guess not. Do you never sleep? Not anymore. Not really. I passed the remains of a rat just back there. These woods are littered with the dead of untold centuries. They call it the Bone Shore. Yeah, I saw so many bodies. Why are there so many? Where do they come from? Some are from battles. Some the lake. The currents bring them here from all across Valia. Oh, so some of them just wash up. Can you help me with something? No, not tonight. This is my time, Mouse. If you still want help in the morning, come see me at the forge. And bring your purse. Remain silent. I miss it sometimes. The lake. Its currents, its winds. They say the lake wasn't always here. That Velia was once a great plain stretching off beyond the horizon. I wonder what lies beneath these waters. Some things are best left undisturbed. The old songs tell not of the lake, but of Valia's plain. Sing one, if you like. Hmm, which one would it be? I'm assuming a song that specifically mentions the plains is somewhere here. Wait, I thought... Hold on, I thought if you press a button you could see your list of songs. That doesn't seem to be a thing in this case, so I guess I just have to guess by the name. Well, it's not the rat with two tails, it's not the maiden. Uh, I don't think it's the murder of crows. Cowardly king, probably not poison cup, gilded warrior. I actually don't know. Um... Ballad of the Coward King? I'm just gonna go with one I haven't sung before.
It's easy to judge when you've never had others relying on you. This lake is a grave. So many ships, so many sailors. Some nights you can still see the blue of the dying light shining out from the lake bed. Dying lights? Dying lights are blue flames that burn cold and without a need for fuel. They cannot be extinguished by traditional means. Oh, that must be the thing I've, I was given by Doinlin, that unlimited light source. Well, that explains why it's not burning my face. They burn cold. The precise alchemical process that gave birth to them has long been forgotten, but they are still used to this day aboard Valia's wealthier ships, their steadfast flame impervious to fog and spray. They are traditionally associated to death, since most known instances have been sourced from tombs and catacombs. Sailors say that on a calm night, the blue lights can still be seen shining up from the depths of Lake Valia, like the ghosts of the wrecks that carried them there. Oh, because they can't be extinguished. Any ship that has them, if it gets sunk, then the blue lights are probably still burning, so to speak, at the bottom of the lake. Wow, what a cool idea. You were on the lake once? In my youth, I. I'll leave you in peace. Good night. Beware the lake, mouse. The surface can look calm, but it's what's under it that'll do you in. I wonder if I actually could see any of those lights when I go down to the shore at night time. That'd be really cool if I could. I'll have to check for that next time I'm down there. Okay, so what is the next thing to do? I know I need to go back to Silas, but... Wait, what is this? The Burning of the Red Paw. Burn the banners of the Red Paw, 13 of 13. Oh, I guess I've already done them all. Rebel against the Red Paw, set light to 13 banners bearing their mark. You burn 13 banners and struck a blow for liberty. Then I need to report the crime to the commander. Right, and I was supposed to make sure that they know who did it. Make sure they know it was the Rebellion, although the Rebellion is not the real name of it. I forgot the real name of it. You know, I would have thought that on the shore would be the final piece of pirate armor. But there's nothing marked. I'm pretty sure I paid the blacksmith to mark the pirate stuff. Hmm. Ah, right. Search the sewers for the master's mark. Speaking of, how many of those obols marked do I have? Because there's, what, five smugglers, is it? Yeah, the five smugglers. So how many do we have? Just two. So we're missing three of them. Hmm. And I think we have a key to open up at least one more of the footlockers. So I might be able to get one more. Okay, well, um, I'm going to head back to the sewers and see if we can find the master's mark. Well, I was heading to the sewers, but I just ended up right here, so I figured I might, might as well take this thing up and go speak with Silas. Whoa! Shit! What the hell? That's not what I was expecting. Where have they gone? No key on them or anything. Be the key to Silas is caught. Um, hmm. Scan for interactables. Maybe if they're missing, I mean, they're, they're always here, right? If they're missing and their door is locked and there's a guard here instead, Maybe they've been arrested? Maybe they'll be in the jail. Huh. I think we better check the jail. Well, I wasn't able to find Silas even in the jail cells, but I did find the smuggler's banner. Here with Faustus. So 
so, what do you have to report of the world beyond these walls? Look what you've done to me? Hmm? I don't follow. What? I don't follow either. Um, you're telling me you don't see it? Ah. You know, big ears are considered very desirable among the Jer Jerboa of the Peridian Desert. Wait, what? Did my ears get bigger? When? Huh? When did that happen? Is that when we ate that strange thing Faustus gave us? Was that forever ago? Huh. Pretty in desert. An equatorial desert high above sea level. The poor Radian desert possesses the most arid climate in all of Pangaea. The desert's sole inhabitants are the hardy Jerboa. Notable for their unusually large ears, used to radiate heat in the desert winds. The Jerboa are an ancient and cultured tribe. Accomplished in mathematics, fearsome in battle, and absolutely adorable. <laughs> Indeed, their civilization has endured where so many have fallen for this simple fact. It's hard to stay angry with the Jerboa, even as their warriors are impaling you atop their fortress walls. Do I look like a Jerboa to you? You do indeed. I think it's the ears that do it. Ah, oh, very well. Muttering to himself, the apothecarist rummages through the bottles and earthenware pots that clutter his table with a... Uh, with a sudden flourish, he snatches up a jar of ointment and applies a generous daub of its contents to each of your ears. There, I bestow upon you the mediocrity you so crave. Huh. I never realized they were so big. Have they been big just, like, forever? If so, I, I kind of want them to be big again. The termite's lair spreads far unseen. You must have spoken those words a thousand times to your comrades. Comrades? Your fellow smugglers. Isn't that how you greet them? There's something about it makes me shudder. The truth is, Mouse, this is the termite's lair, and I'm trapped in it. Wait. Huh? I'm a little bit confused. Right, so the mark is a termite. So, y are you the master? You said the termite's lair, I'm trapped in it. If you're trapped in it, then you're not the master? What just happened? I think two things just happened, and it's rather confused me. Now I still need to discover the master's true identity. Identify first smuggler and second smuggler. So we've already done that from the uh, the obols that we've gotten. Yeah, so the only thing it said is just search the sewers for the master's mark, which we've done. Hmm. The smithy showed you the mark of the smugglers and of the master. You learned their maxim, used as a code. The termite's lair spreads far, unseen. Used as a code? Termite's lair spreads far unseen. I don't understand what to do with that. Huh? Okay, I guess that's all we're gonna get. The termite's lair spreads far unseen. Okay, um, how do I see it? I would like to see it. I'm wondering if it's possible that Silas does actually sleep. Let's get this lift down here. And maybe that's why Silas wasn't there? Maybe they're... I mean, Silas did say that they often snatch a few hours of sleep in, like, the early twilight or something. I think. Perhaps I just, for once, caught them at the rare wrong time. Because it seems like they're always there. But, uh... Yeah, maybe I should go back there. And I have no idea what to do with the termites thing and the smugglers. I guess I could use one of my footlocker keys and get possibly another opal. That wouldn't really accomplish much, though. Huh. Just because I was in the area, I figured I should talk to Augusto and Fatali. Looks like I can tell them the message. Maybe I can tell everybody the message and just see how they respond. And if they recognize it, then that means they're 
Either the master or one of the smugglers, right? The termite's lair spreads far unseen. Is that some kind of secret code? Oh, from the smugglers. Ah, smugglers, they're not even guild members. Don't let Big Yoff catch you calling them smugglers. Big Yoff? Liaison officer of the Smugglers Guild. Eastern branch. Smuggling Rotgut without a license. Big Yoff's going to be furious when we tell him about this. Aye, let us know what you find out about these smugglers, and we'll pass it on. The guards down in the harbor. One of them's bound to be in on it. I'd watch them if it was me. Hmm, harbor guards, okay. Yeah, it's not a time of day thing. This guard is still here. But uh, maybe we should speak with them. Maybe they can tell us what happened. There's a prisoner on the loose. Keep an eye out for him. Do you know who he is? A mouse. Nobody important. I'm looking for Silas. Where is he? Silas? I think he was heading for the commissary. Oh, the kitchen. Okay. He didn't look very happy. Hmm. Oh. Dang, I can't speak with him anymore. Hmm. I wanted to, to tell him the termite slayer spreads far unseen. Okay, well, we're pretty close to the commissary. There's Silas, but there's also... So this guard is still here, so there's two more guards that are sitting down. Huh. Guard. Guard. Oh, are they playing that finger knife game? Oh my god. I hate that. I can't watch. Let's speak with him. Scal, will you not have a drink with me? You know my name. Have we met? <laughs> Who else could you be? You're as small as they say. I'm Flock, by the way. Private flock of the Night Watch. How goes your day? Just glad to be in from the cold. How goes your day? Can't complain, Scow, can't complain. How goes your day? I'm not dead yet. Just glad to be in from the cold. Can't complain. I don't know why we can keep saying that. This table's taken. I suggest you find another seat. What's your name, friend? Pack off, and I'm no friend of yours. How's your day? Leave me alone, scrunt. What do you want, mouse? Oh, they're drunk as hell, aren't they? Quiet, or you'll get me caught. Nobody here cares that you're a mouse, mouse. They only care that you're a criminal. Pakov over there, though. He hates mice. He's also a criminal. Hey, Pakov! Pakov! <laughs> Fool sauced. <laughs> Are you sauced? Nope. Mm hmm. What is it, Mouse? Why won't you let me be? I can smell it on your breath, you're sauced. And you're a scrunt. I'd expect that from Carol, not from you. It's not just me and the frog. Everyone thinks the same. Really? Everyone? I don't know, you tell me. I'll ask the cook to make you a tonic, help sober, sober you up. You do that if you like, I'm staying here. There's drink needs drinking. I need a tonic to help sober someone up. Silas, is it? What's happened, do you think? No idea. But I've never seen him so far gone before. Somebody needs to get him out of here before there's trouble. Tell you what, my love. Go find out for me who wants what to eat. 
And while you're taking the food out the tables, I'll do my best to whip up the tonic. How does that sound? Okay, I'll take the orders, you make the tonic. Good, good. Now go and let me work. That's why there's so many more guards to talk to. Do I need to ask you? Uh, can I bring you something from the kitchen? Not while I'm on duty, thanks. Okay. Also, by the way, the termite's lair spreads far unseen. Aye, so they say. Well, now, I had no idea you were interested in bugs. <laughs> okay, so this person's just, uh... And insects. I must show you my collection sometime. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I'd best get on. Can I get you anything? Pie. Cook special coming up. What can I bring you? Filet of Valian Trout. I might have to memorize this, I don't know. Pie, Valian Trout. Roast Leg of Lizard. Oh, I remember seeing that in there. Valian Trout, Roast Leg of Lizard, and Pie. Should at least eat something. Cheese Wheel. Okay. How about all the orders? Alright, we have a roast leg of lizard for private flock on table 5. Special for Puckoff on table 3. Feeling trout for Belar Lar over on table 1. Wheel of cheese. Okay. Cheese is in the. Oh, I'm gonna have to actually get it and deliver it. Okay, and they just gave me the key. So that's what's in here. A pantry. Sort of. Is this the pantry? Doesn't look like a pantry. There's exceptionally little food in here. Strong box. Ooh. <laughs> God, that is a huge cheese wheel. Am I am I gonna give them the entire thing? What are you just gonna like? Gnaw on one or two percent of this cheese wheel, Silas. All right, here you go. Um. Ah. What's this? Cheese. Uh huh. That's cheese. Um, let's see if I remember where's where. First one I talked to was the pie. God, this pie looks delicious. That goes... Who did I talk to first? I feel like I talked to you first, but I'm not sure. What's this? I ordered the special, you fool! Wait. I thought that was the special. Wait, trout pie. Are there multiple pies? Carrot pie. Is that the special? I don't know. I guess it's this one. Well, anyway, I know the trout goes to the other person. And the frog leg to the last person? The one playing with the knife? There it is. This fish is dry and overcooked. Just how I like it. I guess I'll take this back. How am I supposed to know what this special is? There's two pies. Oh no, can I not put it back down? Am I gonna have to set it on the ground? Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. No one should eat that anymore.
finally. There's nothing like a good pie. last. Mmm, smells good. All the food's been served. All right, here. Cook gives you a small glass bottle filled with a green liquid and stopped with a cork. Give this to Silas. It'll put him out for six hours or so. But it should take the edge off his hangover. If you can find him. Wait, what? Excuse me? Well, look, your friend Silas, he's gone. Come back and see me later. Might have another job for you. Wait, what? When did that happen? Didn't even eat their cheese. Rude. Alright, well, I think it's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna look for Silas, and also, I want to spend a little bit of time around the kitchen asking people about the termites. Especially, Rezia.